He was doing the beck and emote like he was telling the stone. He was like, come here, come here, come on. <laughs> What's up, everyone? It's Lehua here and welcome to the Superfina channel. I am a variety content creator and I also stream on twitch.tv slash Lehua Superfina and I have been streaming Final Fantasy XIV. It is one of my favorite games. I'm having a great experience with it, especially since it's my first MMO. And I am making a video about my experiences. I've been making a series of videos about my experiences with Final Fantasy XIV because I want to share them. Like, I, I got stories. I have stories. And this video is going to be about the Sunken Temple. Okay, this is the dungeon called Sunken Temple. This is one of the dungeons I dislike. I really dislike this dungeon because I always die. I always die. They, I have not run this dungeon without dying. And I think one of the reasons is because I'm a caster and it takes like a few seconds for me to actually cast my spell and then put damage on the enemy. So dungeon runs, it's usually a tank, a healer, and two DPS damage per second. So the tank goes in, goes forward first. The tank is attracting the enemies causing damage to and us DPS are like causing damage at the same time while the healer is healing the tank because of course they're getting hit from the enemies because they're attracting their attention and healing the DPS too just in case. So in Sunken Temple, there's a part where there are bees and their sting can be a one hit. You get stung by it, dead. I want to say I get stung by them Every time. <laughs> I can't help it. <clears throat> well, maybe I can. Maybe I can't help it. Maybe I can. I just haven't figured it out yet. If you know how, let me know in the comments, please. Please let me know. And there are wasps that have a one stung kill too. It's... Oh, I... Every time when I see a bee or a wasp, in dungeons, I'm like, oh, run away, <laughs> stay away from them. <laughs> I don't even know if they have a one stun kill. I'm just so wary of them now. Then there's the, like the first boss that we encounter. And this enemy has a doom. And I had no idea what the F was doom was. But all I knew was to stand on the lit plates i didn't know why i just knew to stand on the lit plates much later when i actually took the time to read about sunken temple it's because when we have doom standing on the lit plates dispels it it takes off that debuff or it takes off that doom because if we don't take off the doom we die so now i know and during that fight wasp come out Yep, that's where we first get introduced to the wasp. Yep, that's what kills me. <laughs> if it's not the doom, it's the wasp. I feel so bad when I die because I feel like I'm dead weight to the party. I'm like, I'm so sorry for dying. I tried. <laughs> I tried. After that fight, after we succeed in defeating that boss, we move on. Then there's these stone heads that can only be defeated when they're killed on a lit plate. The same plate that helped dispel the doom. Now I have a story related to this, which is making me dislike Sunken Temple more. I'm pretty sure first time healers dislike Sunken Temple. I've heard a lot of bad stories from them. <laughs> And I'm hearing it and I'm, I'm laughing a little because it's like, oh, y'all have the same story. <laughs> and the story is I had a friend that went with me and we got to the last boss. 
the last last boss. Um, the tank goes forward. It's like a giant. It's like it's like a stone giant. A stone giant in the middle. So the tank goes there. Gets their attention. We're like attacking it. Then we get some ads. Enemies, small stragglers, small enemies coming on the sides. Us DPS, we go after those. Now, remember when I mentioned about the stone heads? And the only way to kill them is if they're killed on a lit plate. My friend, the healer. Healers who attract enemies no matter what. <laughs> we're attracting these. They were attracting the stone heads. And they didn't know about the mechanic that they had to die on the lit plate. So while they're trying to heal the tank that's in the middle, fighting the big stone giant, these stone heads are running after her and she's trying not to die she's running away while trying to like heal the tank at the same time and we're trying to tell her you gotta go to the lit plate and i didn't have her on voice chat i only had her like on chat on discord and i tried to explain it to her but i don't think she saw it and we wiped because the tank died and then the big stone giant went after us and we died and we tried again we wiped we all died and then there was a vote there was a vote to kick her out and I was like no I, like, I voted no and I put in the chat like we can chat but the thing is I play with a controller and I didn't attach it a keyboard yet and it takes a long time for me to write a message and i just started okay i just started and what i mean i just started it was still may i just started in may and it was still may <laughs> and so i was trying to explain that this was her first time in this dungeon and the tank was like well they need to heal me then we tried again and we wiped again and another vote happened and I was trying to contact my friend be like, hey, do you want to leave? Like, I can leave with you. Are you okay? And while I was trying to talk to her, the vote happened and she got booted. I was like, oh, what? What? I, I didn't even vote no or yes. What? What? And so she got kicked out. She told me that they were jerks and I'm like, I guess I'll stay and finish this dungeon. And um, the tank was saying that like she was a bad healer and I was trying to explain that she was being chased after. And they were so unapologetic. And I was so frustrated because when I first ran this dungeon, I was really fortunate that the party I was with were communicating. They explained everything. That's how I knew about the lit plates, dispelling the doom, about the stone heads dying on the lit plates. That's how I knew. What made me more frustrated was this whole time that they could have explained the mechanics and everything. They didn't, but as soon as they had something to say about the healer, they were writing messages. I'm like, where was this communication before? If you're so quick on saying this stuff, why didn't you say the other stuff? Why didn't you explain? If you could type fast, why didn't you do it? Oh, I was so upset because they could have. They could have just communicated and explained because... I've run dungeons where someone figured out, okay, some people don't know how to run this dungeon and they explained everything. And it's like this person expects everyone to know everything while there are others who are understandable. So I'm just like so upset that they weren't being understanding. It's like, come on now. This can't be the first time you've experienced something like this, right? Come on now. So after that, we had to wait for another healer. Yeah, my story's not done. My story's not done. So we have to wait for another healer. 
Healer came on and you could tell this person was experienced, okay? So this healer knew exactly what was going on. They knew the tank wasn't going to pull in the stone heads. They knew the tank wasn't going to abandon the big stone giant and pull the stone heads to the lit plates. So what the healer did was he went to the lit plates. He stood there. And it was so funny. He was doing like a beckon emote. You can do emotes in Final Fantasy XIV. He was doing the beckon emote. Like he was telling the stonehead, like, come here, come here, come on. <laughs> and the stonehead went to the lit plate. And us DPS went to attack it and it died. So my, in my experience in Sunken Temple, there's healers who do that. Or there are tanks that abandon the stone giant, attract the stone heads, and bring them to the lit plates. Those are the two things I've seen so far. And I guess my tank at the time was like, mm -mm -mm, you guys handle that stone head. I gotta concentrate on that stone giant. Okay, fine. Fine, don't read the situation. I'm still upset, I'm sorry. I'm sorry, I'm still upset. Not only were, not only were they not communicating, they didn't read the situation, okay? But nobody's perfect. I understand that nobody's perfect. Think people learn as they go. I mean, heck, I'm not even a healer. I'm not even a tank and I saw that. I know that now. <laughs> I know that now. <laughs> and those aren't even my roles. <laughs> if you guys have experiences, tanks, healers, let me know. Let me know your side of the stories, you know? Let me know your perspective of this because I'm just seeing this from outside. I'm not even seeing this from the healer perspective or the tank perspective. Oh. Another thing to add, okay, after, after all that stuff, then the staffs, oh my gosh, the staffs that like show up in the corners of the dungeon floor, they come up, they like just appear, and then they beam out lights, they're like lasers, and if you don't, if you don't get rid of them, and they just pop up some more, they do like crisscross lasers, bruh. I got caught in those one time. Like us DPS, we weren't getting them quick enough. And all of a sudden the whole floor lit up. White. We all white. Oh my gosh. So ever since then, I concentrate on the staffs because not only was I wary of bees and wasps, I'm wary of staffs. <laughs> I see a staff, I try to destroy it ASAP. I'm like, I don't know what you're gonna do. I don't know if you're gonna blow up. I don't know if you're gonna shoot out a laser, but I'm gonna get rid of you. If anyone else has stories about Sunken Temple or dungeons, let me know in the comments below. Share your stories. We also have a Discord. Link is available in the description below we have a category channel for final fantasy a lot of us in this community play final fantasy 14 so if you got stories let us know share them we got stories too we have stories too and if you like this don't forget to give this video a like and if you want to see more subscribe ring the bell so you can be notified on the next upload and like I said before, I stream Final Fantasy XIV on twitch.tv slash Superfina. Come join us. You're welcome. You're welcome to join us, hang out, talk story. Sometimes I talk story too much with everybody. <laughs> Sometimes I get really into the game. Either because what's happening in a dungeon, raids, trial runs or because of the story. I just finished Heaven's Ward. I cried a lot. I have a tissue box next to me just in case now. Like, I don't know when I'm gonna cry again. I never know.
The feels just hits you sometimes. But anyways, my name is Lehua, and this was the Superfina channel talking about my experiences in Final Fantasy XIV Online. Hope you guys like this video and I will see you on the next one. Huge thanks to my Patreons and channel members for making this video possible. If you also want to be part of the Superfina party, you can click over here or become a channel member. Don't forget to subscribe so you don't miss the next video. And I do stream live on Twitch every Tuesdays, Thursdays, and Saturdays. Hope to see you guys there and I will see you on the next video. This bump.